Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2014 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Solera Motorhome by Forest River. This is a Mercedes-Benz chassis with a Forest River Solera Motorhome built upon it. The model year is 2014. It's extremely clean. It looks like brand new. Even though it's a 2014. Now let's stop here. And I'm going to show you a graphic of the floor plan and specifications. So when you want to know how long is it, how wide is it, how tall is it, what are the fluid capacities, that's right here on this graphic. All you got to do is pause, rewind. Now this video is in HD. You can watch it on the giant TV in your living room on your big 4K TV with the YouTube app. You can watch this video on your big TV and that's going to give you a better idea if you want to come and see or buy this motorhome. Now if you're interested in buying this motorhome, you can contact us directly. We put this advertising on RV Trader, on eBay, on other places. But this one is available as of December 2022, first availability. Now this is special because it has leveling jacks. It is a C-Class motorhome and it has stabilizer jacks on the back, hydraulic stabilizer jacks, which you lower either using a handheld remote control or a control panel right here in the back. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna show you underneath the motorhome in a little bit. For now, we're gonna show you outside, inside test drive. It has some gigantic storage capacity in this motorhome. The mega storage compartment here. Now we also have tire covers and stuff like that for this motorhome. Got an LED lights in the compartments. It's very clean in here. Very nice motorhome. It's got LED light strip over the patio. Plus it has a porch light as well. Because it's a 2014, it has the frameless windows, these clean fitting windows that fit flush on the outside of the motorhome, give it a cleaner, more aerodynamic look. And this is a glossy mirror finish white exterior. It's not faded. As you look at different motorhomes, you'll see a lot of them are done with tan bare fiberglass and they just don't hold up as good in the sun. This whole motorhome is very clean. It's got LED tail lights, power, full length patio awning. The patio awning is open, but at the flick of a switch right here in the entry door, we can retract it and it retracts very quickly and effectively. It rolls right up into the side of the motorhome. Before we go all the way up, I'm gonna take a close look at the patio LED light strip right there. That's mounted in a track at the base of the awning. So it billboards the side of the motorhome. Now LED lights, when you're out at the campground in the evening, LEDs don't attract bugs like the old style fluorescent or incandescent bulbs used to. As we're walking around the motorhome, I'm gonna show you some things. This is your water quick fill. You pull it in front of your house, fill this up with water and you have water for the restroom you're ready to go on your trip. This is your water heater. This is your coach heater, your refrigerator vents, your outside electrical outlets. You can plug in a George Foreman grill right here. There's cargo compartments all around the coach with a little safety catch so they can stay open. You've got sewer hoses and water hoses in the coach. It's a really nice setup. This is not my forest, first Forest River Solera. Um, I have had another one and it had over 300,000 views of the YouTube video of it. It was one of the most popular model motorhomes I've ever had. 
a very clean forest river is a company that's owned by warren buffett the billionaires they've never gone bankrupt they're very financially stable because they're a berkshire, berkshire hathaway owned company this is a mercedes-benz and it's a diesel as you look at c-class motorhomes c-class are the one with the cab over the front driver's seat as you look at different c-class motorhomes most of them are going to be on the ford chassis with a gas engine this is a diesel it's only three liters your gas mileage could be as high as 17 miles per gallon or as low as 10 or 11 depending on how you drive but that's still a lot better if you buy the ford you may be getting six or seven miles per gallon so this is way more fuel efficient as a motorhome it's extremely clean there's no accidents on it. it has keyless entry has the books manuals accessories with it the seat material is in excellent condition soft not peeling not cracking you have to watch out for that on some of these motorhomes this owner kept the sun off and protected the motorhome from sun damage inside and outside so it's in really nice shape as we take a close look at the cab all the seals and the gaskets they're all in great condition it's very clean you have running boards to help you get in and out it has new tires recently replaced on the front these are not the original tires these were replaced again frameless windows with a mirror reflective finish on the exterior it has an awning over the top of the slide out those are really important this was just replaced and i'm going to take a second to explain on the, my videos important things you need to pay attention to so that awning material was replaced that's like a conveyor belt when you're out at the campground parked under a tree or if it starts to snow the snow or the debris that the birds and the squirrels drop on top of your rv the leaves fall out of the tree if it's fall you could have a massive amount of leaves fall on top of the rv if you don't have that awning over the slide out all that debris will settle on top of the slide out then you put the slide in and you start driving and you hit the brakes all whatever's on top of the slide out would come inside the awning prevents anything from coming inside so when you roll the slide in everything on top rolls off like a conveyor belt you got that that keeps you clean inside and also keeps the sun off but most importantly it keeps water and debris off and out of the motorhome we're going to show you the top there's weatherproof vent covers on top it's got a high powered air conditioner unit on the roof out here where your hookups are your waste hookup station you have a full sewer hose some of these mercedes benz and other smaller motorhomes just have a little tiny hose with a pump this has the full same type of uh, hose you would get with a fifth wheel or a big rv it's a full black and gray tank it's not a composting system sometimes when you go look at small motorhomes they give you a cartridge you use a toilet and you have to change the cartridge that means you got to go to the store and buy a new cartridge this isn't anything like that this is a if you hook up to the campground and you hook your hose up you can stay connected for a month and never have to really mess with your toilet at all or your shower water you could just take nice long showers you never fill up the the coach because this is a residential style plumbing with holding tanks and when you're at the campground you have a big area light to help you see when you hook up your station this little black thing here this is your power connection we have a cable that plugs in here when you're at the campground comes with it this light comes on to tell you you have power to make it easy to understand and then uh, you have power in the coach this is a tv connection so you can hook up to the park cable look it's nice clean condition it's not all turned 
yellow or discolored or anything like that. As you look at 2014 motorhomes, you're probably going to see that. You don't see that on this coach. The bumper, seven pin connector for hooking up a trailer. Trailer hitch, exhaust, generator exhaust. Again, giant cargo compartments. There's a lot of storage capacity in this motorhome. It's a small 24 foot. Let's go inside and have a look. So we're gonna go into the 24S Forest River Mercedes-Benz motorhome. And then this is a small that fits in one parking space, but big on the inside. So we have a like a full-size bed, which works to be as big as a queen in the sense that you're not going to fall out on either side the way they shove these in here. As a full functioning bathroom. Now be aware when you look at motorhomes on small platforms, some of them come with little toilet cartridges that you have to change or composting toilets. That's not what this is. This is a full toilet. If you're at the full hookup campground and you hook up your hoses, it's just like a bathroom in your house. You could go and use the toilet as much as you want, the shower as much as you want, and unlimited flowing water going down the toilet or septic system of the campground that you're parked at. It does have onboard holding tanks, so if you're in the middle of nowhere or on a long trip, you can use the shower, you can use the toilet. And then when you get to a dumping station, you just dump your holding tanks. It's really a nice setup. And another important thing to point out while we're talking about the bathroom, you have a shower with a glass enclosure and a porcelain toilet. When you look at some of these RVs, especially on Mercedes or van based motorhomes, the toilet is in the shower. This is not that case. This toilet is separate from the shower. So the toilet stays a dry toilet and the shower stays a wet shower. You also have a bathroom sink area here with a medicine cabinet. You have a kitchen station over here with your refrigerator with raised panel doors. A nice refrigerator. We put a brand new cooling unit on it. Um, so the refrigerator has been serviced. The engine, the generator hours, it only has 22 hours on the generator. I'll show you a picture. There's only 22 point something hours of use on the generator. So the generator is almost not used. That's not even half a work week. Very little time on the generator. You have a microwave so you can nuke your food. You have a gas oven so you can bake your food. And then some campgrounds you go there with no hookups like a state or national park. They're more of a, they call a primitive campground or in the desert in the middle of nowhere or a campground where you're surrounded by tents. Some campgrounds have quiet time. If you're not plugged in, you're not supposed to run the generator during quiet time. You have a three burner cooktop. Let's see if it lights. Lights right up. Three burner cooktop, so you're able to cook in here. We have propane on board. You have a stainless steel sink with a plastic sink cover. So you can cook right here in the kitchen. Glass sink, I'm sorry, glass cooktop countertop extension. So you can make use of the countertop space that you have. Privacy curtain to close off the bedroom area. Now this has seat belts for five people. Three on the sofa, which turns into a big bed, and two in the front. That's five seat belt positions. You have the cab over bunk bed up here, which could sleep two people potentially. So hypothetically could sleep two, three, four, five, maybe six people depending on how cozy you like to get. So there is possibility to sleep up to six people in here. 
there's a lot of storage on this motorhome because look this has a really big almost full it has a full room slide out which is a lot of mercedes you'll only see the sofa slide out but this has slow sofa storage and a big storage about 10 feet 8 10 feet long slide out here actually is about 10 feet of slide out so it opens up big inside so you have a lot of floor space to walk around in here without bumping into everybody else that's with you which is unusual for a 2014 short rv and it's also unusual for mercedes rvs in general or van based rvs it's almost impossible to find them with this much room inside really a lot of walking space in here the floor is in excellent clean condition on the mercedes the seats swivel around so you can join the conversation if you don't need the bunk this ladder comes off and it stows which you need two hands to stow it that flips over and then you have ease of standing up and sitting down in the front seats now we have a tv on a swing arm mount which you can watch from the sofa when you're driving or enjoy it when you're camped in the bedroom there's another swing arm mount television so you can watch it you can change the different angles and push it back in the corner from the bed area so you do have tvs you have reading lights you have privacy curtains look at all the storage over the bed so you can store all kinds of stuff in this motorhome storage over the sofa bed as well storage in the kitchen area so it's a lot of room in here for mercedes-benz this is a really nice one has more room inside than most some of the newest ones with a full wall slide have about this much space among the nice thoughtful features in this motorhome are little step area lights to, so you can, don't trip if it's dark in here you can turn on the little step lights just so you can navigate around without tripping over yourself it's got roof mounted air conditioner the air conditioning control is right here it's a Dometic high powered unit this is a higher powered AC unit so we've got fan cool furnace on and off so we can turn on the AC but it's cold right now I'm wearing a big old jacket it's winter time so we don't need to the AC has been tested it is working the furnace is working as well the water heater is working everything is working there's even cup holders thoughtfully placed in the overhead with some little storage pockets to put your stuff up here if you are sleeping you can put the tv in the forward position there's a release knob here to loosen them up now we're inside of a building these tvs are picking up over the air free broadcasts from the local tv stations uh, mounted on the mountaintop you got different channels which you can change the channel so 4.2 these are digital 4.2 4.3 there's 150 channels coming in so as you change the channel the different stations come in and you get over the air broadcast um, when you get to a new area you just go into menu and then you go into I gotta point this the right direction channel it has a st signal strength indicator showing you how strong the signal is and then you hit auto scan and then scan for the channels in your area and it'll take off the channels that you don't get I've already done that so we don't need to do it right now but as you see nice picture from the televisions the refrigerator is clean there's no odors from it it has been serviced and the bedroom tv is the same way you scan for channels if you need satellite we recommend dish network so you can have hd picture and they have low-cost portable satellite dishes 
that you can connect to the RV. And these are both these TVs are 12 volt TVs. They're actually plugged into cigarette lighter style outlets. So the engine and the generator don't have to be running to watch TV. They do run off the RV house battery. And you have light switches throughout the coach. These are LED or halogen lights. They're very bright, energy efficient lights throughout the coach. And most of them off, off of wall switches. So you can turn the lights on and off from the wall switches. There's wall switches underneath the cabinetry and sofas, etc. to turn the lights on and off. No matter who you talk to when you're looking at RVs, in order to get the over the air broadcast TV stations like I talked about, there's hidden somewhere. This one has a little button here. You see there's a little green LED light in the compartment there. That little green LED, not the red one, the green one. I can turn it on or off. If it's on, your TV signal amplifier is on and you can get over the air pictures. It does use battery power to power the signal amplifier for the TV. But if I push that little button, you won't get any TV picture. So when you're going to look at different RVs, if you want the TVs to work, the amplifier, signal amplifier has to be on. And you see we're plugged into the cigarette lighter right here for power for the front TV. Now this one has weatherproof vent covers. The vents are clean and weatherproof. So in the bedroom, we have a weatherproof vent cover over here so you can leave that vent open at night and let the cool air circulate through the coach. Or you can run the AC, but notice the vents are very clean. This RV is in like new unused condition. There's a vent over the front with a fantastic fan and it's also clean. The fantastic fans, you can turn these on to very high speeds. Instead of running the air conditioner, you run the fan on multiple speeds to blow cool air throughout the coach. With the window cracked open, it's gonna pull a nice cool breeze through the coach. Or you just turn it off. Alternately, you can run the air conditioning. If some places you go, it's not, it's cool enough, you don't need to run the air conditioning. Sleeping arrangement, the sofa bed turns into a jackknife sofa or jackknife bed. It jackknifes. It bends in the middle and jackknifes into position. So it's not a full pullout bed. It's a jackknife sofa. Then over the front seats, you have bunk beds for two adults or possibly three kids going, the small kids going the opposite direction with the heads towards the front. And then there are five seat belts in here on the rear. This is a full size bed, almost a queen, but not quite. It's a full size mattress in here. It's a nice thick mattress and it fits in there nice and cozy. Because you're surrounded in there, you're not going to fall out of bed. You're going to be cozy in the back. So you could easily sleep five people on beds, but the floor space has enough room to set up additional beds, inflatable beds on the floor. So if you wanted to put an Intex air mattress here on the floor, you would have room potentially to sleep a sixth person inside on beds, or you could put sleeping bags in, and, rope, and bed rolls down as well. If you want to get really crammed in here, you could definitely do that. So people always ask me, I want to see what it looks like with the slide closed. It is a big slide, so it's a little more small inside when the slide is closed, but you can still walk all the way through and squeeze your way into the restroom. So if you're driving on a trip and you need to stop and use the restroom, you, I'm not small. I can fit. I can pass all the way through here. Go to the restroom. You have quite a large aisle with the slide closed. It doesn't intrude that bad. It's probably at three feet wide still, actually, so it's pretty roomy. Now we have the seats in the rear position and then you swivel them around to drive. It's just a release lever on the back of the seat and slide them forward and back and they 
very easily rotate it's a mercedes-benz thing so it works really nicely you could use the kitchen you can use the refrigerator you have full access to the motorhome let's say you live in a house where you're going to squeeze this beside the house and it's tight so you might not be able to open the slide that's okay you can still use this as a guest room for your house park beside it it's a nice motorhome it's always better to take full advantage of the slide out if you can but if you can't you can still use the motorhome regardless test driving the mercedes-benz it's very quick it's not a corvette but it's a turbo diesel so it has a lot of power and it can accelerate very nicely it's very smooth and quiet it handles really well i've driven these motorhomes coast to coast it has a backup camera up there it has navigation this one currently has 35,000 miles on it, but this is a diesel, so that's nothing. Diesel is... FedEx runs these for hundreds of thousands of miles as their delivery vans. They're very, very nice, reliable vehicles. This one will fit in one parking space, and I'm going to demonstrate parking in one space right now. As we drive around here, we can pull it into a single parking space. We can pull right in and not everywhere can you fit in one single parking space, but as long as there's nothing directly behind you, no poles and no bushes that are too high, you can pull right into a single parking space. It fits right in. It's just a matter of going frontwards and backwards and maneuvering with your brain power and your backup camera. There you go. One single parking space. Now we have the backup camera right there. We're maneuvering. I can drive backwards in the parking lot using my backup camera for views. I have my navigation here. We have our navigation right there. It's showing our navigation. It has a route punched in. It's showing where we are and where you want to go. Um, you can update this. This is the uh, factory installed navigation system on this vehicle with a seven inch touch screen. This is a touch screen so you can zoom in and out. You can change the settings. Touch screen with Bluetooth hands free. There's a little switch on the side um, that when it's on you can listen to the radio or play DVDs in here stream them to the television when you're parked um, with the engine off and then when it switches in the down position it just runs off ignition system so as we go up under the front we're gonna take a look at the engine and see that there's no leaks this is a Mercedes turbo diesel it has six brand spanking newish tires that's uh excellent tread all six tires are have been replaced that's your fuel tank your exhaust system your chassis this mercedes-benz chassis the rear tires notice those are bf goodrich radial tas those have been replaced they're not the original continentals that came with the motorhome and does have a full size spare tire that's your stabilizer jacks right there, hydraulic jacks that will lower down so you can steady your floor so when you're camping it doesn't bounce around. It actually can level it as well, but um, that's your towing hitch, your generator exhaust, and your vehicle exhaust that's underneath the generator. Mud flaps, tires. This is a dually rear axle, so there's four rear tires and two front tires, so six tires plus the spare makes seven tires come with a vehicle. Running boards with steel reinforcements to make it secure when you get in and out. 
again the engine and transmission no leaks it's running great FedEx uses these Mercedes Sprinters as delivery vans and they last forever this one only has 30,000 miles more or less we showed you earlier that's the hood that's a top view of the engine that's your air filter for the cabin and air filter for the engine you got a giant windshield washer reservoir your brake fluid reservoir that red thing is for jump starting vehicles if you need a jump start that's a jump start connection under the hood that's a big clean air filter so that when you're breathing the air inside it stays nice and clean filtered air to the interior that's the generator it's a cummins 3600 watt propane fueled generator that runs from the onboard propane tank there's very low time i showed you inside it only has 22 hours of total use cargo compartment it's nice big cargo compartments you could fit a golf club set in there um take a close look at the body line there's no collision damage on this no dents no scratches that's your propane tank that's fuel for the generator and cooking and heating easy access you drive the rv to the fueling the propane fueling place and they'll fill it up for you no problem that's your sewer connections remember this has a black tank flush city water connections you can hook it up and camp for months at a time and never have to mess with anything if it's hooked up to the uh, full hookup campground site that's your giant storage compartment let's go up overhead and take a look you've got a giant rooftop air conditioner and weatherproof vent covers over all the vents in the motorhome it fits in one single parking space and uh, there's a skylight over the rear restroom and a weatherproof vent cover there's a weatherproof vent cover over the bedroom vent and a weatherproof vent cover over the front area vent it's got a second skylight over the dining area and brand new awning fabric i showed you earlier that's a slide topper awning to keep the breeze off your slide outs uh, we've resealed the roof we've done maintenance on this coach so it's ready to go there should be no water leaks all the seals have been re-double checked and re-topped off with fresh sealant and you have a large power patio awning you have a digital tv antenna on the top there so thank you for watching my, so thank you for watching my youtube video about this forest river solera go to my website and check if it's still available my website is mybestcar.com and the company name if you're going to pay a check to us the check is going to pay to the order of a buyer's choice if anybody else shows you this video just make sure your check is paying to the order of a buyer's choice so you know what motorhome you're getting my name is mike johnson if you have questions give me a call 951-681-2101